hi guys how far of you welcome back to my youtube channel so this morning i'll be doing a very thorough analysis on bitcoin my projection my prediction for bitcoin because of course it's time for us to begin to look at bitcoin last week bitcoin made an amazing run even though i was just chilling i was in the mood to make videos i was still trying to set myself up for the new year and now i'm back in the space of making content back to back i'll be doing a lot of crypto content this year i'll still be doing my reviews and i'll still be doing a lot of technical analysis giving trading signals and um, let's see how it flows then we do other stuff on how to make money online but this morning we are looking at bitcoin and looking at the crypto market in general the reason is because bitcoin controls every other coin the altcoin if bitcoin is up majority of the altcoins are up when bitcoin is down the altcoins are down you know so the movement of bitcoin is very critical in the crypto space because crypt bitcoin is actually the biggest cryptocurrency and it has the largest share in the market right so from what i can see this morning looking at coin gecko this morning you can see that the global cryptocurrency market cap today is 1.2 trillion dollars now we are in the trillion dollar phase 1.2 trillion dollar which means people have started putting their money back in the crypto market and this um, it's equivalent to a 0.9% move upward, 0.9% move upward, even though it is 0.9% move, it is actually a big deal. It means money is beginning to come back to the market and this was in the last um, 24 hours. So we time it to continue to update back and forth, back and forth. Now if you look at CoinGecko this morning, you're going to have like a cap of um, the market cap of almost the top 100 cryptocurrency or the top 200 cryptocurrency i can have an overview of what is going on in the market you can see bitcoin today is currently twenty thousand seven hundred and fifty six dollars unlike last week when bitcoin started recovery now bitcoin has crossed the twenty thousand seven hundred and fifty six um dollars please and normally i don't need to go and look at the chart based on the fact that i've been following bitcoin for a while the next resistance area i'll be looking at is 21,700 resistance area which is a critical resistance area but i believe that okay let me leave my belief so that when i go to the chart we can look at the chart together and begin to give our own analysis and our own projection because at the end of the day the best we can do is to predict anything can still happen in the market now a lot of people seeing the way the market is looking everywhere looking green they think okay are we back in the bullish run i think it is too early for us to begin to think you are in the bullish um run now this is not the bullish i'm not even bullish for now this is just like um it could be a correction move it could be um we might be looking at the bullish run but for now we need to be a little bit relaxed we need to slow things down and just take the market for what the market is showing us right now you know there's i was expecting a correction like this to happen after um the fts scandal that crashed the crypto price so that fall was massive i was expecting like a correction move so that the price would be exactly where we are expecting it to to be around this maybe 19,000 20,000 region so i think the price is okay for now but it is too early for us to call this a bullish run ethereum has been performing very well you can see the last seven days ethereum has done 19.9 percent even though bitcoin is taking the lead bnb has do, done 8.9 percent srp 11.8 percent and um if it keeps flowing like that majority of the coins are doing well i need to look at dogecoin 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 has done 14.6 percent and matic polygon has done 17.6 the coin that is giving people crazy money right now at least uh so far in the last seven days i've done a very good move a good run is solana you know solana went to as low as um I'm going to check the chart i don't want to call a figure that is out of place but i think solana went to as low as is it 16 dollars there about but right now solana is 61.8 percent up so people that actually bought some solana when it was around that 16 dollar period or 13 dollar period now that it is 23 they are almost getting to 100 um percent gain on their money and that is how cryptocurrency is for people that are yet to jump in probably have not bought any cryptocurrency are not holding any coin i can bet you that this is not too late time for you to buy cryptocurrency so generally the crypto market is not looking bad it's looking good and interestingly coins in the metaverse space are doing well look at the central land the central land has done 79.5 percent and look at the sandbox sand and mana mana has done 39.5 percent which is good you know we've told you guys that the metaverse is metaverse web 3 those projects are projects that are going to change the game this next 
crypto bull market when it finally comes and you guys need to take note of that this coins are coins that me i will tell you that you should not sleep on but if we continue to look at the chart this morning um this is an overview chart of the general crypto market just from coin markets cap there's a particular coin i saw that i've done 104 percent aptos aptos has done 104 percent like in the last seven days which means for those people that bought aptos and held it seven days ago if you had put one thousand dollars you have gotten two thousand dollars this is how cryptocurrency works this is how you know you make money from crypto and i think aptos is still going to go on to continue its run but for now you need to understand the fact that um the market moves um in three directions we have the upward trend the downward trend and the ranging trend but even in the midst of this directional move we can have a um upward movement um a correction move move again a correction move blah 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 even if it is the downward trend you see a downward movement it corrects a little downward again it corrects a little downward and that is how the market moves and if you look at this chart the last seven days you can see that the last seven days the market had moved up it got to this point had the correction move ranged around this video came down a little move up again correction move um moved up again now it is around this um ranging period there could be a correction move then it will continue to move up again and if it moves down and um, you know moves um very lower then goes up and cannot move upward and come down more then we can say there's a change in the market direction but for now i still think the market is going to continue this run for a while however we need to still look at the chart to do in-depth analysis but generally the crypto market is looking good is this a good time for you to buy cryptocurrency if you're an investor of course yes the market has not really um gone far if you buy and you hold you can still make something out of it that is you're a long-term investor if you're a trader of course anytime you can jump into the market and get out of the market depending on the kind of trading you do if you are an intraday trader or a scalper um, but if you're a swing trader yeah you can also buy and you hold because the market has not really moved um it has not really moved you know but any period from now it might be too late if you go and check the fear and greed index this morning you know maybe particularly for bitcoin you're going to see something that might amaze you as the great bitcoin fear and greed index okay this is it um let's look at the fear and greed index this morning and see 